Now we're going to be filling up the distillation column, which is the most complex unit operation that we're going to be covering in this simulation. It is essentially a column which has trays. We got a condenser. We got a reboiler with the respective duties. And we're going to have one material feed. We're going to have one bottom product, which is ideally C12. We're going to have off gases, which is mostly methane. And we're going to have the distillate, which is mostly isopentane. The material as stated is this part right here, the liquid feed. The outlet is distillates and bottoms, Q, reboiler and condenser. Stages, 20 stages being fed at the 10th stage. No pressure drop, although you already know that this in real life does not happen, but we're going to try to simulate first this. We're not going to give any kind of temperature estimates. The condenser is partial, as you can see here. Some goes as product, some goes back. Reflux is 2.5 molar and the gas Destillate, so this is the gas destillate ratio, is 1 to 10. So for one gas or for one mole of gas, we have 10 moles of destillate. In this specific case, we have these numbers. And well, it's time to fill up the simulation. So let's go here, add the column. And what I want to show you is that you can go to the sub flow sheet and this way we can verify the inlets or let's say internals so here it goes this is our partial condenser it has overhead a condenser a distillate and a reflux stream so whenever you state the ratio it's actually a fixed number between these two or the gas to vapor or gas to distillate is also here we got this going out of the stream so technically Aspen is in fact calculating these numbers. So that's why it's very powerful, the distillation column per se, because we are having this template, very straightforward. You can add more things if you want to, especially if you are going to be modifying the distillate column with valves in the dynamic model, you can do so. Anyways, let's go back. Whenever you want to go back, just go here, go to the parent, and here we go. Now, double click, it's time to fill this up. This is my, wait, no. Once again. Yes. Let's delete this. Okay, let's go back. Let's rename this. Condenser, Q, con, Q condenser, the reboiler will be Q reboiler. It's going to be partial. This is going to be gas, or what do we have here? Light gas versus distill. So once again, whenever you you fail, you gotta remove it. Inlets will be column fit. We gotta add 20 stages. Yeah, tent will be here. This is light gas. And this is the distillate, the bottoms. And if you were to have any side draw, you will add it here. Right now we don't need it. And now we have finished with connection uh, of the column, which is page one of five. Let us click next. In this specific case, page two of five, we gotta ensure the reboiler configuration. So you gotta know what type of reboiler you're going to be using. In my specific case is once true, Use regular HISIS reboiler. Page three is about pressure profile. We know that this is at one atmosphere. There is no pressure drop. So let me leave this as one. In real life, you know that this will be lower and this will be higher. Click next. We're not going to give any kind of temperature estimates. Only if you know them, of course, if you know what temperature you're going to be operating you can calculate that according to the properties but that's aspen 4 and now it's time to set up the page 5 of 5 we're going to have a 2.5 reflux ratio we know that this is 2.15 kilomole per hour this is 2150 kilomole per hour ensure the flow 
spaces is smaller. No need to go to side operations. Let's click here, done. And wait for it. Ensure that you're on the active mode and it hasn't converged. Ensure that you run the simulation. And yeah, hopefully you get converged. I really don't like Hisys that much because I don't know why I think it's much easier to do a simulation in Aspen Plus when the simulation is used rather than Hisys. Even though once you master the all these columns, I think it's easier once you work with the columns in Hisys. But for first thoughts, I would say Aspen Plus is a little bit easier. Anyways, let's verify all the connections. You have them right. These are the temperature profiles. So you can see very low compared to the reboiler, which is the last ones and the condensers. Specifications. Well, if you want to add further specifications, you can do it. I'm not going to do it. These are the flow rates which are given directly. And I don't want to bother you, but there are plenty of things that you can still add, still view and verify. But right now, what I want to sure I'm sure is that all this is working properly. And the bottoms. Okay, so this is how we set up a distillation column.